My name is Laura Harmon and I was the auditor of the Amnesty International Society in UCC this year, a society we restarted last January. I'm also the LGBT rights officer for the UCC Students' Union and I was the auditor of the LGBT Society as well uh, last year and I'm the incoming campaigns officer for the UCC Labour Society. I suppose one of my first memories um, of getting involved was the LGBT Noise uh, March for Marriage um, that was, would have been about two years ago. I remember it was the first time that I really felt like I was part of um, something that was you know important. It just felt very liberating to be able to I suppose march with uh, other people who were looking for um, I suppose the right to to marry for civil marriage in Ireland. And I think that propelled me then to kind of get more involved in wider equality campaigns um, such as the campaigns of Amnesty International and also the campaigns that the Students' Union were running as well. The Amnesty Society was pretty much dead since I started college which I was really disappointed about but Laura took it and got off to a really great start only in January this year. Um, we had human rights activists speaking, we had Colin O'Gorman, the head of Amnesty International Ireland, down speaking to us, and we had a few campaigns on mental health. Um, so I think we're in a really strong position going forward next year, and that's definitely down to Laura and all of her hard work. Yeah, activism is extremely important um, because if, if people didn't get involved in activism, then I don't think we'd achieve anything in terms of securing equality. Um, I think it's very important that people feel that they can get involved and that they can voice their opinions and it's very important that those people get listened to. It was one of the main things that I'd be proud of um, from getting involved was I suppose seeing my confidence levels grow. Um, I think it really benefited me personally um, to actively get involved in campaigns that I was interested in. Um, I suppose when I initially started to get involved in activism two years ago, I would have been very kind of shy, um, I would have been very afraid of public speaking and things like that. Um, and then gradually, I think from being involved and from seeing other people um, getting involved, it kind of made me feel more confident. Um, so for example, um, I would have went to various protests, maybe like um, the fees protest, protest against third level fees, which I was involved in with the Students' Union and um, the Irish Nurses and Midwives protests that they had this year. Um, I was really surprised by, um, I suppose, how I was able to kind of take a leadership role um, with those protests um, in terms of just being able to take the megaphone and kind of encourage um, the crowds to participate and stuff like that. One of the main challenges that young women in Ireland face when they're getting involved maybe in activism would be that they might not have a lot of role models or they might feel that women are underrepresented in various organisations. I think this could be a deterrent for young women to get involved. If they don't see that they're represented already, I feel that they might be less inclined to get involved. So I think it's very important um, that our generation um, tries to get involved as much as possible so that we can even up the, the I suppose, gender balance as well in the wider kind of political life. The main message I would give to any young woman that wants to get involved in activism would be just not to be afraid, um, not to be afraid to voice your opinions or get involved and just kind of just jump in really and take the initiative